What's up guys, Saber Interactive and CD Projekt Red have released a new patch for The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt on the Nintendo Switch and it adds a bunch of stuff. New graphics features, all sorts of performance increases and the best part is cross save. Today I'm going to show you how to do it in a real quick video so without further ado, let's go. The process is more or less the same for Steam and for GOG. Now, I don't have any Steam save files, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. So when you go into your menus, there you'll see a new section for cloud saves. Once you've updated the game, you click on there. There'll be a Steam and a GOG section. You choose whatever platform you're on and you sign in. I'm going to skip the part where I enter my account details because you don't need to see that. But you can see here on my Steam, I don't have any saves, but you can still upload saves to Steam because it connects directly to their cloud saves. It's also the same for GOG. So when you go in here, you go back into cloud saves, go to GOG, I'll do the same thing. I'll skip in. I'll skip my account information. The only extra step with GOG is that you have to choose Standard or Game of the Year Edition. Now, for most people, I think you're probably going to have both. For me, anyway, because I bought the game back when it first came out, and then I got the Game of the Year Edition just because I have all the DLCs and the way that GOG works. All of my saves were under the Standard Edition, so if you're in the same boat as me, I would just click Standard Edition. Once you've done that, you've signed in, you can load your games from here. Your save games won't show in the normal load game section on the switch like your local saves from before they won't show this you'll have to go directly into this section to load the save once you've done this though you can save it locally and i'll show you how to upload the save once we've done this here so i've gone onto my pc saves i've clicked open you can see a list of all of my main pc saves here including my main game playthrough my blood of wine playthrough where i've completed most of the game I'll skip the loading screens because y'all know how long the loading screens are on, on Switch. But you can see here, I've opened it. This is the game itself, but I've loaded the save. This save wasn't here originally. And you know, it's just, it's just The Witcher 3. It's the game itself. So what we're going to do now is save the game. Now you need to save the game locally before you can upload it to the cloud. So separate to how you load the save directly from the cloud, when you save the game, you have to save it locally onto your Switch and then upload it, which I'll show you how to do here. So as you can see, you save the game, then go back into your cloud saves. You choose the version that you're on. So for me, again, standard edition. And rather than load game, you go into upload because you want to upload the file to the cloud. And this is the same for Steam. So you go upload, you click on the file you want, and you're all done. I'm going to upload one of my Switch saves as well, just to show you that you can also upload your old Switch saves to the cloud and play them on PC as well. They're not exclusive to each side. Something to be aware of is once you click upload, the game will freeze and nothing will happen for... Uh, you can see here, it's like five, 10 seconds or something. You Your inputs don't work. Nothing happens. This is when it's uploading. It's kind of cumbersome because it doesn't tell you what it's doing but once it's done there is a little pop-up in the corner there you go it says save has been uploaded to gog.com so it does work you've just kind of got to wait and it you know it could be better if i would prefer like a loading screen or something to let you know it's actually doing something but at least it is working you know so the next step in this journey is to look at PC. So what I've done here is this is my PC footage. The difference with PC is that all you need to do is make sure you're online because Steam and GOG both update to the cloud automatically when they're online. So you don't have to go in and log in and update that kind of thing. All you've got to do is make sure you're online and that your cloud saves have sync. Once that's happened, you just log into the game as you normally would, go into your load game and there it is. That's my switch save there that I just made. So you can see there, it's as simple as that. It's the same for both platforms and away you go. And that's all for today. Just a quick video to show you how this feature works. I'm probably going to do a video breaking down the different graphical options that were added to the Switch as well, because there was something like eight different options. They do a little bit different things. And the game actually looks great on Switch now. Like this footage you're looking at now is on Switch and it looks significantly better. I've played around with the settings a little bit and I'm not too sure how I feel about it yet. So I'm going to spend a bit more time on it and then I'll, I'll give you a final opinion on whether the settings are worth it or not. Anyway, guys, that's it for me today. Thank you for watching and have a great day.